My name is John Kay, and I'm a senior instructor here at Esri. Today I'm going to show you how to use ArcGIS Pro version 3.2 to make a connection to a spatial temporal asset catalog, or stack. A stack is a common way to organize and store uh, satellite data online. The first thing you're going to want to do is come over and click the connections option and then go to stack connection and new stack connection. When you do this, a new window opens up. For connection name, I'm going to call this NOAA because I'm going to show you how to connect to some NOAA sea surface temperature data. I'm going to use the connection using the Microsoft Planetary Computer. And then under Cloud Storage Connections, I'm going to go click here. And I'm going to scroll down to the NOAA Sea Surface Temperature uh, Cloud Storage option and hit OK. Now this is not included with your base install, so I'm going to have this in the video notes. But we'll click OK and a new cloud storage connection option has been created over here that you can see in my catalog pane. Once you do that, right click and search stack items and a new window is going to open up and it's going to allow you to search all of the available information or satellite platforms or data within this particular connection. Since I'm interested in the NOAA sea surface temperature, that's the one I'm going to click. In addition, if I wanted to, I could limit my data search by date and time, by extent, say I wanted to limit it to a specific region, and even by attribute, say I wanted to limit it to a specific amount of cloud cover or a specific sensor on a given satellite platform. I'm not going to do that right now. The, then, uh, so I'm going to click on results. And when I click on results, it's going to do a query within the spatial temporal asset catalog of all of the information that uh, meets my criteria. Since I'm only interested in the, the, um, all of the data and no, uh, you know, no regional or temporal extent, it's just going to give me everything there. So I'm going to select two images here and then add them to my current map. I can see, though, uh, that they're now under this stack results group layer. So I'm going to expand this, and I can see that the um, symbology here is not to my liking. So I'm going to come over here and click the image, then click on raster layer and then symbology, and I'm going to do a stretch. I'm going to change the band to sea surface temperatures, and I'm going to change the color scheme To surface. I'm going to do that again for the other uh, band. I'm going to change the uh, band to see surface temperature and I'm going to change the color scheme to surface. And now I'm going to do a, a swipe between the two layers to try to see what kind of variations there are between it, between the two data sets. So I'm going to start at the top, click the swipe, and I can see that there is a little bit of change between the two data sources. Come this way, see there's a little bit of change between the two data sources. So that's how you make a connection to a spatial temporal asset catalog. I encourage you to play around with it. Enjoy. Enjoy.